Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back. White Castle. If you never had White Castles, oh man, uh, I tell you what, I got one that's like 40 minutes away from me, and I don't go there often, but when, when I'm in the area, I always stop by to get some sliders, and I like their french fries too. Uh, but uh, they sell these frozen ones in the grocery store, and they're made to do in the microwave. And they just, in my opinion, they turn out kind of crummy. And they're really mushy in the uh, in the old uh, <laughs> microwave there. So we've got the Ninja out here. We've got the Ninja. This is this is the Grill Griddle that's got the air crisp. So it's got an air fryer option to it. This basket is the air fryer. And uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make some of these White Castle original sliders on the Ninja. <laughs> Let's get started. Right, so to know more about this Ninja, I'll leave a link down below to the review I did of this. But it has grill, it's got roast, broil, bake, and then it's got dehydrate, and it's got air crisp, which is like an air fryer. And uh, we are going to set the temp right there. And uh, we're gonna turn this down to just 300. Well, we'll do this way, and they're not gonna be on very long. If you've ever been to White Castle, you know that that those burgers are relatively thin. It's, and in my opinion, it's all about the onion. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna press our preheat here, and then uh, show you how we're gonna prep our White Castles. All right, so as we preheat, you can see what we do. We've got our, our White Castles, I got four of them, and we're just gonna take off the top bun very carefully. Take that off too. Set the tops on the side. And we're gonna go at 300 degrees, two minutes, just like this. And then for the last minute, we'll put our buns in on the side with this side up. Get a little crisp to this. And then I'll tell you what, it, it makes for some awesome, awesome White Castle sliders. Uh, let's wait for it to get uh, preheated and we'll show you when they go on. All right, it says add food. Let's add food. Now, I really like this thing because of the large size of the basket. <clears throat> and we're gonna put our four in there. Put them on the sides here, because I wanna get those other buns in there. And these are gonna go, now when you start back up, the timer starts automatically. And we're gonna go two minutes. So when we get down to uh, 18 minutes, we're then going to put those buns in facing just like that. Remember, 100% beef. All right, coming up on two minutes, I got already spilled the onions, which I almost swear that's the best part of them. Oh, look at that. They're blowing around in there. <laughs> so we're now going to put the buns in there. And uh, that's that nonstick surface from Ninja that's long. Let them slide all over. So back on. And uh, one more minute, give you a look-see. All right, let's get them out of there. I, I tell you, they smell absolutely delicious. Buns out there. Oh yeah, they're warm. Get one of these out of here. Buns on top of there. Give you a look-see once they're plated up. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look-see. You know what I like about this is that uh, give a little crunch on there. And that was only a minute on air fryer for the buns. But uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, let's take a taste test. Oh, man. So I encourage you to try this. It's a lot better this way than it is in the microwave, folks. <laughs> Remember, these are fully cooked. Tom Horse, my YouTube, leave a comment, <laughs> thumbs up. And as always, it's a lot of fun, folks. We're having fun. But you know what? Heck of a lot better than in a microwave. Thanks for watching.